Jesus Christ, you are the light of the world, the light no darkness can overcome. Stay with us now, for it is evening, and the day is almost over. Let your light scatter the darkness and shine within your people here. Lifting up of my hands 
May our prayers come before you, O God, as incense, and may your presence surround and fill us, so that, in union with all creation, we might sing your praise and your love in our lives. Amen. Psalm 103, verses 1 through 7 and 8 through 13. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless God's holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all God's benefits, who forgives all your sins and heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the grave and crowns you with steadfast love and mercy, who satisfies your desires with good things, so that your youth is renewed like eagles. O Lord, you provide vindication and justice for all who are oppressed. You made known your ways to Moses and your works to the children of Israel. Lord, you are full of compassion and mercy, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. You will not always accuse us nor will you keep your anger forever. You have not dealt with us according to our sins, nor repaid us according to our iniquities. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so great is your steadfast love for those who fear you. As far as the east is from the west, so far have you removed our transgressions from us. As a father has compassion for his children, so you have compassion for those who fear you, O Lord. Here ends the psalm. The Gospel of John, chapter 11, verses 17 through 44. When Jesus arrived, he found that Lazarus had already been in the tomb four days, now Bethany was near Jerusalem, some two miles away, and many of the Jews had come to Martha and Mary to console them about their brother. When Martha had heard that Jesus was coming, she went and met him while Mary stayed at home. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But even now, I know that God will give you whatever you ask of him. Jesus said to her, Your brother will rise again. Martha said to him, I know that he will rise again in the resurrection on the last day. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. Those who believe in me, even though they die, will live. And everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? She said to him, Yes, Lord, I believe that you are the Messiah, the Son of God, the one coming into the world. When she had said this, she went back and called her sister Mary and told her privately, The teacher is here and is calling for you. And when she heard it, she got up quickly and went to him. Now Jesus had not yet come to the village, but was still at the place where Martha had met him. The Jews who were with her in the house, consoling her, saw Mary get up quickly and go out. They followed her because they thought she was going to the tomb to weep there. When Mary came where Jesus was and saw him, she knelt at his feet and said to him, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. When Jesus saw her weeping and the Jews who came with her also weeping, 
he was greatly disturbed in spirit and deeply moved. He said, Where have you laid him? They said to him, Lord, come and see. Jesus began to weep. So the Jews said, See how he loved him? But some of them said, Could not he who opened the eyes of the blind man have kept this man from dying? Then Jesus, again greatly disturbed, came to the tomb. It was a cave, and a stone was lying against it. Jesus said, Take away the stone. Martha, the sister of the dead man, said to him, Lord, already there is a stench, because he has been dead four days. Jesus said to her, Did I not tell you that if you believe, you would see the glory of God? So they took away the stone, and Jesus looked upward and said, Father, I thank you for having heard me. I knew that you always hear me, but I have said this for the sake of the crowd standing here, so that they may believe that you sent me. When he had said this, he cried out with a loud voice, Lazarus, come out. The dead man came out, his hands and his feet bound with strips of cloth, and his face wrapped in a cloth. Jesus said to him, them, unbind him and let him go. Here ends the reading. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. An angel went from God to a town called Nazareth to a woman.
conditions for peace between peoples. Mercy, hold us in love. For us who are gathered to worship and praise you. God of mercy, hold us in love. For all of your servants who live out your gospel. God of mercy, hold us in love. For all those who govern that justice might guide them. Great and merciful God, source and ground of all goodness and life, give to your people the peace that passes all understanding and the will to live your gospel of mercy and justice. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. God, remember us in your love and teach us to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Let us bless our God. 